My first question to you, Mr. Durrani, if you're talking about the revocation of Article 370, it comes at a crucial time here where world politics have pretty much also been focusing on the Afghan Taliban talks that have been going on for almost a year now. The ninth round had just concluded. Do you see any kind of connection between these two events? Uh, well, it was uh, quite, timing was quite surprising uh, as far as uh, revocation of Article 370 was concerned. Because uh, prima facie, there was no case of taking this drastic action, except that one can uh, 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 draw a linkage uh, with the Afghan situation. The reason is that uh, India has uh, been deprived of the uh, of the place high pl at the high table, and uh, probably that was the reason that India has been. Uh, playing uh, spoilers role. So uh, if uh, you go into further depth of the issue, then you will see that uh, India has been using Afghanistan uh, for uh, creating troubles in Pakistani Balochistan. They uh, have also been in touch with the TTP. So uh, therefore, uh, it was quite a launching base uh, for the Indians that uh, to be present in Afghanistan. So how, in your opinion, it would have, how, what was BJP's plan? How would they have, by revoking Article 370, come in the way of Taliban talks? No, the reason was that then it has created a, a new situation. The tensions between India and Pakistan have increased manifold. And uh, now there is a complete lockdown in the occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Over 8 million Kashmiris are uh, like in a, they are living in a concentration camp. They are cut off of the world.